It's strictly Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everybody. Um I'm about to share my screen. Um give me a second here. So you want to know how to make a comic strip. Well, I'm no professional, but um I did do a lot of researching on the net, like a whole lot of researching between last week from the last session till now and no, there's a lot of information about comic strips currently and it's building because um, now that it's less famous in newspapers and well known as a digital webcomic it's starting to grow a lot faster online than it is in tangible print um, I have supplied a template such as the one you're looking at right now that um, has the basic three panel layout. Three panel strips are most common, three to four panel strips are most common, um, but single panels are what they call gags because you're telling the joke all in one panel. In the first panel, um, depending on what your idea or joke is, you're to display, it's like a, a, a highly compressed story. That's exactly what a comic strip is. A highly compressed story or idea or joke. Whatever it is that you want to tell, you're telling it in only three panels. If you intend to upload like every day or every week, you know, you have to have comics lined up before that. And for you to be able to produce the same quality consistently, you have to know how many panels you can work with and how how much of in terms of detail you're going to be including in your comic without having to rush any of them at all. So three panels, so about one to three panel comics are ideal for like daily uploads and they're very easy to do. It's just you putting down your ideas because a lot of people seem to think based on the research that I've been doing that you have to have a complete and, <clears throat> sorry, you have to have a complete and pretty comic strip that, hey, you can be proud of and stuff. That's all nice and well, but deliverance of the joke or the idea in your comic strip is more important than how it looks. Because I've seen <clears throat> comics online that are just stickmen, and they deliver their ideas well. <coughs> Um, I'm going to show you an example of that, what I'm talking about, and we probably all know what's coming, but for those who don't, it will be rather interesting because you're wondering, hey, I'm here struggling, trying to find out, like, what do I put in this panel, and what do I put in this panel, and um, how do I want my characters to look, and they're to look all nice and dandy and stuff, and you're so caught up in the looks of the thing that your idea or your joke just dies. So be wary of that. So you have one, two, and three panels to work with. Um, yes, so to that reference I was mentioning, uh, Jonathan is actually here and has joined us. This is my awesome friend, Jonathan Mandela Nelson another cartoonist, and he also is responsible for the Strictly Tunes. So, you know? Yes, I'm here. Awesome, welcome. <laughs> I was just um, going to show an, like an example and some references of some three final comics. So, this is Cyanide and Happiness, a comic strip written and illustrated by these four illustrators and writers. And if you'd like to see more from them, you can go to their website at explosm.net. That's E-X-P-L-O-S-M dot net. Well, yeah, hello.
like you sketch your ideas first, or how? Well, when you're making a comic strip, what do you do? Um, it depends on how long it is, <clears throat> but generally, generally I write out a script of all of the dialogue, directions, and action beats. Um, and then I do thumbnails so that mm -hmm. I can sort out the composition of the pages from way before I start. Yeah. Um, and then after I find something that I like, then I get into the, uh, the actual drawing of the comic, or sketching it rather. Yeah. But funnily enough, um, the reason the reason why you do like the reason why you do the thumbnails beforehand yeah. is to limit uh, is to make the possibility of you not liking what you're drawing less likely. Um <clears throat> we call it Yeah, but some people don't really like they can just go, Oh yeah sure and they'll just draw down uh like a <clears throat> a comic that we would consider well done. Yeah. They could just draw it down with the best example is um uh, I follow a lot of different uh, independent comic artists and stuff like that, and even mainstream comic artists. And yeah. there are certain sometimes it's certain days of the year, but sometimes people do it whenever. There are these mm -hmm. kind of comics called hourlies. Called what? Hourlies. Hourly. Oh, every hour is another strip. Yeah, every hour is a strip about what? about what you are doing in that hour. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's only like all these tend to be like three panels or two panels each. Oh, right? okay. And oh, you mean they do that as practice then? It, it's an activity. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's practice. Um, it's practice, but it's it's just like a comic drawing activity. It's just something to keep you on your toes. Yeah. And when people do hourlies, the people who I follow, they tend to not do. They do they do the composition sketches first, but they can mm -hmm. still do do hourlies that are simple. Hourlies tend to be simple, but uh, mm -hmm. just because they're simple doesn't mean they're not still like good looking and they have really good composition and stuff like that. It's still it's still important, but you you cannot do it now so that you you don't have to need to do it again later. It's best to have them pre-made because everybody else will see it as you literally sitting down every day to make one, but it's yeah. only just drawing from that box of or of strips or this USB filled with all sorts of strips that you made. Restrain yourself, hold back the surprise, don't spoil, no leaking, nothing, don't even mention the name so much as the title. Just do everything, spend a month and do it, it's easier said than done coming from me, because <laughs> I know I'm always doing stuff every day. But I'm going to take a month and do something, and then just post it. If you're doing like a series of comic strips, you, you have to keep a note of what colors you're using. OK. Uh, First, to start off with the size, um, this one is actually this is actually very large, but I was doing it in terms of pixels. So this one is 850 by that's the width by 350, which is the height that's in pixels, and um, that's that's because you know, um, the Facebook cover dimensions, mm -hmm. trying to fit it so that the comic panels don't get cut off by the, the uh, size difference. Okay. Um, in terms of the measurements in inches now, that would be 11 inches wide and 4 inches tall. And the resolution is, for some strange reason, set at 72, supposed to be 300. Wait. Yes, 300. Now let's wait for that to convert itself. That's really large. What's going on? Okay. 
Okay, so that's the dimensions for the comic strip. And of course, we have to set up our layers, which will be sketching layer, which will be the function like your roofs, and inking layer, which will be inking your comic on, and then the final layer, which I need to put in. Well, I normally put in a group and then organize the color. So I call this group color. So oh, here comes the difficult part, which is the idea stage, which so should be sketching. And I need an idea. Um, first stage, after you've gotten your joke slash idea slash story, you are to start sketching or, or developing your character, um, deciding um, the layouts for you can to, in terms of the scenes for you can to do the little camera angle. The, the panels are really just like uh, a camera. Mm -hmm. so you just have to know how you want the shots to be, and you, once you figured that out, I say you want a worm's eye view for this one, and you want a bird's eye view for this one with his arms dangling like that. Or you just want a leveled shot of him just standing up. Something random. You know, just for you to figure out how you want the shots to be. Yeah. Um, second stage would be inking. And that second stage actually comes with a sub-stage, which would be lettering and inking of the scenes and the characters differently. Yeah. Um, it, I don't... Okay. Not yet. The most important thing to put in first before you actually start um, the, the layout of the scenes and stuff is the when you come to the inking stage, it's the lettering. Because you need to know how big the word word book balloons are going to be, where they're going to be placed, and you would have sorted that from the sketch. And when you reach this inking stage, it should have just been inking. Mm. So that should have been mentioned. Um, after inking is done, you can color it. And just like in the, the video of the making of Garfield, we can um, say that you need to keep track of your colors, or what kind of colors you used, and just keep a note of that. Yeah, and then you just put your signature somewhere down here, or your title somewhere up here. Okay. Yep. Okay, so before we actually began, I had some trouble um, coming up with an idea prior to the actual live drawing session, and I started thinking of some phrases, any phrase that came to my head, and uh, I just started sketching, and I'm not going to get into too much detail, I'm just going to keep this going as a speed drawing, and there will be a tutorial uh, showing you how to do this step by step. So look out for that video guys and thanks for watching. And I don't want nobody want nobody and I don't want nobody you got that right and I don't want nobody
What if I don't got you, fool? Damn. Extra work for you. You got that right. I could close so I want nobody to the make the mouth. All those smokes, a nigga. But if that's us, just hop on my extra. Damn. Extra work for you. Don't want Damn. Got that right. Got you, fool. All the make the mice ice. All those smokes, a nigga. But if that's what if I don't just hop on my.